Chapter 3 Will was in his twenties. Puerto Rican flags made of painted steel pipes demarcated his hood from Cali to Western Avenue on the west side of the city. Raccoons scratched him up when he got out of line. He could take more pain when he drank bourbon with milk. Nightcap. In the mornings, while his coffee cooled, he did push-ups and sit-ups in his bedroom on the vinyl tacked to the floor. When the mechanics and structure of routine killed the ritual, he stopped. He couldn't cry when he wanted to, and the tears within him he wanted to be without. The tears he didn't shed came of the stirring of exuberance and vitality mixed with aimlessness. This was youth. Sometimes he believed his body would collapse under the emotional burden. He drove the city on his motorcycle to get out and clear his head. On one sidewalk one day, there was a girl he hadn't seen in a couple of years. They used to be a thing. They were once in love. At times, he wished to convey that love, share that love. Write her a letter, maybe. Call her. Her name was Helen. So she was walking down the street with a girlfriend at her side when he passed them by. But he didn't stop. They had been intimate as earth, wind, and fire, shining stars. But there was a distance sometimes, and he grew despondent. He imagined they would get along one way or the other, older now, in their 20s, in the 90s. He still loved her, but the feeling was less poignant, no longer desperate. The love could lie in age well.